What's up, everybody? Welcome to another video in our Be Encouraged series, filming from the car, one of the quietest places that I can be in right now. And uh, you'll be hearing from, you've already heard from one voice from Pastor Jordan, and you'll be hearing from others over the coming weeks and days. I want to talk to you out of John 15, verses 1 and 2. It says the following, I am the true grapevine. And my father is the gardener. These are the words of Jesus speaking. He cuts off every branch of mine that doesn't produce fruit. And he prunes the branches that do bear fruit so they will produce even more. One amazing uh, perspective, visual that, that Jesus gives. He is the grapevine. We are the branches that are grafted in to the grapevine. And the father, our father, our heavenly father is the gardener. And uh, how amazing it is to know that there is a combined work here where our connection to Jesus, our intimacy with God is, is absolutely essential for the life that we have and experience. But our father also does the work of cutting off that which does not need to be there. And that's the part that I want to focus on and talk about for just a few minutes with you. you. Let me repeat what he says. Jesus says, and he, or the Father, prunes the branches that do bear fruit so they will produce even more. You know, that, that little sentence right there, I, I think is so powerful for our lives. Because I think a lot of times we, we ask the question of God, why is it that anything good would ever be removed from our lives. Maybe that's a good relationship. Maybe it's a good house, a good job, a good anything that we have ever had. And you know that there are moments where God removes these things from our lives and, and we're, we're, we're stuck asking that question. I don't understand why in the world God will remove anything good. You know, I've been uh, the gardener at my house now for probably about two years. I have not done an amazing job at all. Um, but, you know, I've been able to keep up more or less and keep it looking okay. And uh, one thing that I've learned from uh, doing the rose bushes is that when I cut those rose bushes at the right point, at the right place, then all of a sudden where there was one branch or one stem or whatever we might call it, all of a sudden multiple ones shoot out of it. And there is more growth, fuller growth, and more roses than would have ever been there before. Whereas one stem would have had one rose when it's cut the right way in the right place, all of a sudden that stem will produce more stems, which produce even more roses. And the reality of life is the same, that God many times will remove something that has produced good fruit in our lives up until now. But the goal of what God is doing is to remove it so he can produce even more fruit. And so in those moments where you experience loss in your life and you're wondering why in the world would this happen to me? Why would God allow for this type of loss in my life? What God is actually doing is setting you up for even more blessing. He's setting you up to produce even more fruit than ever before. And so I invite you, that is, you stay connected to Jesus because our tendency is to disconnect ourselves when we experience loss. Oh, God is punishing me or God is mad at me or God is mistreating me. But what he's actually doing is he's preparing you for greater growth. And so you have to stay connected with Jesus, right? You're a branch connected to the vine. Stay connected to the source of life when you feel the pain of those cuts in your life, because pruning is painful, but pruning produces greater things in your life. And so stay connected to the vine that is Jesus Christ, and then you will be connected to the source of life, the flow of life, the nutrients and the water of life that will come and flow to you. And then you will see new growth happen and new fruit 
occur in your life like never before. And so when God comes in, when the Father comes in and cuts off those parts of your life that have produced good things, just know that he is setting you up for even greater things in the future. Trust him, stay connected, stay intimate with Jesus, and you will see the hand of God at work in every area of your life. God bless you guys, and uh, get this, be encouraged. We'll talk soon.